Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're at ChatGPT, and I'm gonna show you how to use ChatGPT or another AI LLM to respond to emails, particularly professional emails or work emails. Now, I know your inbox probably gets filled up quite a bit and you get lots of emails and you wanna to respond to them. Let me give you an example. So here we go. This is how I like to set up my prompt. Here it is. You are a well-spoken executive who speaks well and professionally. You are, known for you are known for making your point effectively. I want you to help me respond to this email. Now notice that email is in curly brackets or curly braces. This essentially means I'm going to give you that information in a minute, which you'll see down here that I have done, but it's kind of like a variable. So I've just put that in brackets. Now, here we go. Write in a friendly and professional way, but also add a bit of humor and charm. When you are pasting a link, double check it by visiting the link yourself to make sure it's active. If it's a dead link, try again until you find a working one. Note that as of today, the ChatGPT doesn't have internet access. It did, and then it lost it for a little bit, and it should be getting it back soon. So uh, this will also work in things like Bing.com, where you can use their uh, Bing uh, chatbot and stuff like that. But here you go. Now, also note, I want you to, and then I've got that underneath that, I've got, and this doesn't have to be in, in perfect English, I've just got dash, mention that I am enrolled in a carpentry course. So I am basically saying, hey, this is what I want in the email above and beyond what you were going to put in there. Make special note that in this case, I am in a carpentry course. This can be tailored to anything that you want. Now, here's the email. I basically chose a rejection email saying, we sincerely thank you for taking the time to apply and meet with our team about the manager position, blah, blah, blah. Basically, I got rejected for a job kind of thing. Now, with all of that, and again, keep in mind that the link to the prompt will be in the description below, so you can use this verbatim or change it as you see fit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this now. So I'm just going to copy and paste this and I'm going to go new chat. And in this case, it works in 3.5 and GPT-4, but I'm going to use GPT-4 because I pay for it and why not? Command V, I'm going to copy that in and there you go. Here it is. So here's the prompt that I read out to you. Here's what I wanted to mention that I'm enrolled in a carpentry course. And then here is the email, which is the generic rejection email. I'm going to click on go. And then when it's done, I'm going to come back, read you what we got and show you how good this is. All right, welcome back. So here's what it came up with. So here's the response. Subject for the email, making Home Depot even more amazing, a future endeavor. Okay, that's a pretty cool uh, subject title. Of course, you can, or email title, you can, of course, change that. Dear recipient's name, which you, of course, would switch in. I hope this email finds you and the remarkable team at Home Depot in great spirits. I'm greatly thankful for the opportunity afforded me. Blah, blah, blah. The experience was enlightening and served to reinforce my appreciation. Okay, sounds professional and good. Well, I must admit that your recent email felt a bit like getting a splinter. Okay, that is clever. I am reminded of the carpentry proverb that says, every piece of wood has character. The challenge is to find, like, this is fantastic. Okay, like, again, it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit cutesy, but it's great. And much like a novice carpenter, blah, 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 I am currently mastering mine through a carpentry course I am enrolled in. You remember when I said, hey, I want you to mention that? I, in this case, I said that I'm in a, a carpentry class, but you could be, if you're in a coder, oh, I'm in a developer class, or I'm in a Photoshop class, or I'm in a whatever. This could be anything. You just put that in there, and then it will add it in. Also here, it says here, I am enthusiastic, enthusiastically looking forward to any future opportunities, which is fantastic, and knows the difference between a Like, this is a fantastic email. Just copy and paste in that prompt, do the little things that we talked about, change some of the variables up as, I, as you see fit. And this is how you can respond to emails at work in seconds, like a professional. Thanks for watching.